Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from Mobox and we're back with another video tutorial number 20. And here we are. So in this graphics tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at how to get some like liquidy type graphics in After Effects to kind of blend together. It's really simple. I'll just uh, take you through it right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and open up After Effects. So again, this could be used for numerous different types of applications. I've used it for all kinds of different things. So we're just gonna create a new composition and let me drag the settings over to this monitor. Tutorial 20. 1080p, 60 frames a second, 10 seconds, looks fine to me. Actually, we'll make this five seconds because I don't think we're gonna need any more than five seconds. So here we are. We're just gonna start out by just creating some layers. Layer new solid. And we'll make this layer, I don't know, maybe a dark, almost black color. And then we're gonna create a new layer layer new solid and we're gonna make this we're gonna make it kind of like a greenish color maybe maybe like a uh, mint color almost and we are just going to drag this down to there so now we're just gonna create a letter we're gonna just do use the letter H it doesn't matter you could use any letter you'd like um, well really you could use this <laughs> this to do anything you like, um, but we're just gonna walk you through through it using this object. I'm just gonna center this up. If I could figure out how to use uh, my align tool, which is right there, I'm just gonna line that up. So what we're gonna do is we want this H to be underneath the this green color, and I'm actually gonna just lock those colors, by the way, too, just so um, I don't touch them. And what I want is I want this H to kind of be under the green. So I'm gonna hit P on the keyboard, set a position keyframe down here. And then after like a few seconds, we're just gonna have it lift up just like that. Okay, that's amazing to this. Um, I use this this tool from uh, MoGraph. You can use the graph editor if you'd like. Highly recommend it. Uh, MountMoGraph.com slash motion, I believe. So. We have this smooth motion of this H kind of exiting. We'll say that this is a liquid pool. Okay. So what we want is we want like streams to like fall off this H as if almost as if this H came out of like a liquid bath or something like that. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create some actually, you know, before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's make this H come out just a little bit more just to kind of exaggerate the effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some um, rectangles. So we don't want them to be attached to any layer. So every time I click it, I'm just going to click off. And I don't like how that has a an outline to it. We will maybe add an outline later, but until then, we don't need to do that. So basically, I'm just going to come in and just kind of add some streams off of this H. And you could do this, do make these as thin as you'd like, as thick as you'd like, um, depending on the effect you're going for. Um, if you follow along with this, you'll probably get a pretty decent effect. Um, mostly just because um, the thinner and more like kind of varied they are, the better. It just looks a little bit better when you when you do it like that. So that's probably good. Um, there's kind of a lot of layers, but but it's not that it's not too bad. So we'll just zoom out, and I'm going to select all these layers, and I'm going to press S on the keyboard. So first things first, I need all of these to have their their center point at the very top of each shape. I'm going to use this tool again. You could use um, you could use your tool if you have a tool, or you could just press Y on the keyboard, or select this up here and just move them all up to the top. Um, but having that tool definitely makes it a lot faster. So basically, what what essentially that does is that when I scale them, they scale from the bottom. So let's see here. I don't. I want to just undo that. Um, what we also want is we want these layers to follow this. H. So basically what we have is something that looks like that. Next we want to do is we want to change the scale of these. So that's why they all have the scale selected. I'm going to uncheck these little chains. Basically what this allows me to do now is make it so I could affect the X and the Y independently. So I could make this longer or I can make this wider without changing um, the other options. So I'm just going to set keyframes across the board. Just hold down and drag and it creates keyframes. And what I want is I want these to be to be zero in the uh, X direction. So I'm just gonna zero, actually what I can do is I'll select all of them, zero, shift, 100, and it should 
but it didn't. It should change them all, but it's not. I don't know. There it is. Okay. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up just before that center part of the H enters the, or exits the liquid. I'm going to highlight all of them and I'm going to press. I'm going to come in here and do maybe 100, shift zero. And now what you get is you get something that kind of looks like that. So I could stagger these a little bit. I mean, if you want, you could stagger them however much you want. I kind of like a little bit of stagger just to kind of give it a more random look. So now you have something that, that looks kind of like that. See how these kind of, these might, might, might need to be moved up just a tad because they're not, they're not touching the liquid and you, you kind of want them to kind of have an effect that kind of looks more like that. So that looks pretty good as is, but they look too rigid and it just don't look too great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight these and I am going to put a slight barrier around them, but I'm going to make sure I change the color to the color of the liquid and I'll kind of modify the outline just a tad. So now we got something that looks kind of like that and I'm just going to drag all of these underneath the green background. So it kind of looks like that. So now we're starting to cook with fire here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab all of these layers. I'm going to hit control shift C. And now I have just the black background and I have this H in green and liquidy stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a effect called roughen edges. Drag this onto the pre-composition and now you start to see more of a liquidy shape to it. I could increase the border. I could increase the size. I think I like, in I like increasing the size. I think it, it adds some cool effects to it. Um, so you can see there that, that now it looks a lot more organic looking or something like that. Maybe decrease the border, increase it a little bit. See, it's just kind of see what, what works best. Um, for you and you don't have to make it so these have so these have green around the outside you don't have to um, so maybe maybe that looks something more like what you're looking for and again you kind of get to a point like that and then you could start you know really changing making making adjustments depending on how liquidy you want it to look the the larger the border the more liquidy it looks but then you can clean it up with increase by increasing the scale so now you get something that, that kind of looks like that and we can go back in here and see what it looks like when we add a, a small border. The border kind of looks cool only because um, if you have white liquid coming out of, I guess, a green bath, it, it kind of might mix a little bit. And I and I like the way that looks, like that. That kind of that has a really cool look to it. So the only problem I have with this is that this H is now kind of little fuzzy looking it doesn't really look you know it's not rigid maybe the rigid shape that, that you'd like so let's see if we can figure out how to do this I'll be honest I didn't practice this ahead of time so um, I may or may not have problems doing this let's see if we let's see what happens when we just come in and just copy this H over and paste it on top we're getting a little bit closer maybe I could scale this H up just a tad um, I still get kind of some weird outlines on the out, on the uh, in the inside. Maybe I could kind of drag this apart a little bit. Maybe increase the the scale of this a little bit more. Just kind of mess with it until you get something that looks a little less. I guess I don't know. I don't know what you would call that, but a little less liquidy around the shape. But I don't know. Um, you, you can mess with it. See, see if you come across anything that that, that looks good. Um, for most cases, having it make making it look a little liquidy is, is fine. Um, but again, if you want to clean it up, you, you can mess with some other effects. But that's just a quick look at how to get this liquidy effect in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe, and be sure to check back next Wednesday for another tutorial. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, you, you're more than welcome to leave them in the comments down below, and we'll try to get to those. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.